Hello all and welcome to another pickups video and today I have got for you a Music Magpie haul of Xbox 360 games. Yes, my trawling of the internet one night searching for games led to me going to Music Magpie for a change where I found that they were doing a couple of deals and yep, totally suck it in by them. They had a selected amount of titles under a two for three pound deal and then they had a selected amount of other titles in a two for five pound deal but that deal also meant if you bought four, you got four for eight quid. So yeah, totally suck it in by that and I ended up spending 39 pounds on games and the good thing about Music Magpie is free delivery. So I've literally paid £39 for games and paid no delivery. Absolutely brilliant. So what I'm doing is I'm taking inspiration from a good friend of mine that is Sean of Retro Games Revived, who has recently done the first in a new series called One for Sorrow, Two for Joy, in which he buys games himself off Music Magpie, opens them up on camera and basically does the CEX roulette with them. Opens them up blind, hopes that the box is in good condition, hope that the disc is in good condition, and of course, what us all collectors want, that the manual is in there. So I took inspiration from him, and instead of just opening them up and presenting them as a pickups video, I thought I would do Sean's One for Sorrow, Two for Joy. So basically, every game we open up, we're going to put in a pile. If it goes in pile one, it's for Sorrow, because there's something that we don't like about it. Either box is broken, no manual, something like that. Or it's going to go in two for joy. It's complete. It's everything we want from a game. So absolutely double thumbs up. Brilliant there. So what I'll do is I'm going to put Sean's video in the description below. So please do give that a watch after you've watched this. And you can pick up Sean's channel from there as well. Because for me, this is a one-off video. But for Sean, I believe it's going to be a series going forward. So yeah, drop him a sub if you enjoy a bit of one for sorrow, two for joy. So with that, it's time for me to crack on and open all these games. And hopefully put 20 Xbox 360 games in one pile which is joy so one day basically um, the box turned up but one turned up outside of the box I've got a big box here which I would imagine has got 21 games in but for some reason one game got sent separately now when I bought these games I thought of it as a good chance to pluck off a lot of the early cheaper end sports titles which believe it or not are not more commonly found in charity shops as they used to be. The FIFAs and the Pezzies are, but I'm talking about your NBAs, your NHLs, your Maddens, basically a lot of your American sports. They're not turning up as frequently in charity shops, if at all. And a lot of the early sports titles on the 360, like your 2000s and 6s, 7s, 8s and 9s, they don't even take anymore. So I've been putting them off for so long that I thought this was a good chance to pick them up for cheap. Because with Music Magpie's free delivery, yes, I might have been paying £1.50, £2 a title, but I'm also dodging CEX's £1.95 postage charge per game. So let's crack on with the Retro Games Revived, one for sorrow, two for joy, and open these games up. Well, we'll start off with the one that came through on its own. So will you open easily? I have got a knife and scissors on standby, should I need it. And there we go, that's what I mean, 2006, early sports title. And wow, look at the condition of this box, that is absolutely great. It used to belong to game, once upon a time in its lifespan. And there we go, we've got a manual, so we're happy with that. We'll check the disc now, I'm only going to do it for the first couple, because I do believe Music Magpie basically have a seal of approval on their disc that uh, they refurbish any discs that need it, or I believe actually they may refurbish all of their discs. And I'm looking at that one. And it is spotless. So, yeah, it's just a FIFA game. I know, I know. But I need to start plucking off these early sports titles now. We've got FIFA World Cup Germany 2006. And if I put it to this side, it will be in the joy pile. So, two for joy is over here. And we are one for one. So, now we need to get inside this big box and bash my wall of Mega Drive games at the same time. Excuse me while I straighten that up. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hang tab, there we go. Okay, do you know what? That's not too important. Right, <laughs> I believe if we flip this box upside down, we need to cut here, here, he says. And at the back, we need to stand up for this one. Here, come on, come on. That's open. And one down the left-hand side here as well. That's it. Flip it round, and then hopefully this top bit should just come off and there we go right let's not get too many spoilers in let's push this just aside here over here 
And there we go. There should be 21 in there. Has he is a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Win, win. They are all there. Why you felt the need to send one separately? Music Magpie, I do not know. So let's start off again. I mean, we'll stick with football. This look, 44.99, once upon a time in its life. Again, from game. UEFA Champions League 2006-2007 official video game. I'm feeling a bit of weight to it. We've got a manual, and they didn't even stick a sticker on it. Thank you, game. Let's have, as I say, I'm not going to do this every. Yeah, spotless. I think they refurb all of their discs. So, fantastic. We're two for two. Enjoy. Next up, again, plucking off the sports titles. The yeah, I know it's sports entertainment. We've got WWE 13, and we've got a manual there. Thank you, CM Punk. We'll make it a hat trick of disc checking. Yeah, absolutely spotless. Yep, I'm pretty sure they do refurb all of their discs. So we're three for three. Thank you. Next up, we have NBA 2K7, complete with manual. Nice crisp manual as well. A bit of a chunky manual as well for that. As I say, I know they refurb the disc, so we're stopping there with disc checking. It's all about case conditions and manual. And that's a lovely condition case as well. So there we go. Number four. I'm going to end up a massive stack here on the right-hand side, hopefully. Okay, next game up we have is Madden 06, and we've got a manual in there as well. Lovely condition manual too, and um, yes, a nice refurbed disc, no doubt. So we've got a stack of five here on the right. We're going to end up casting a shadow here. We might actually, I'll tell you what, put them on top of the wall of Mega Drive games so we don't get too much of a shadow next to me. Okay, next up, NFL Tour. Manual been attacked by game at some point in its life, so there we go. Is it? It's not a two disc game, is it? No, I say that the disc I can see there is mint because it's been put had a case change at some point in its life because this case was designed for holding two discs and this is a one disc game. So there we go. Join the stack of for joy. I might have to turn that sideways, otherwise we could end up there with them falling on my head. And that's uh, that's a story that's funny for everybody else, but not me. Okay, NBA 2K11. I've got a few of these, but obviously I'm missing 11. Complete in box with manual. Thank you very much. Joy again. Plenty of joy. We are liking this. Look, a non-sports title, because I had to find some that weren't sports titles when I ran out of sports titles within the deals. Tropico 3 with manual. Thank you very much. Again, these cases are all got nice clips on them as well. They're all shutting well. I have been paying attention to that as I've been going through these. But Tropico 3, there we go. We are not even getting a single sorrow just yet. Right, imagine... What? No way! This is sealed. This couldn't be more of a joy. This is sealed. I did not expect that. It's pre-owned, but sealed. What was the quotation marks for? Sealed game. Well, that's totally thrown me. Wow. Absolutely. But we're going to play at some point in my life, so here we go. For all those people who wonder if Man 10 ever come with a manual... We're about to find out because we're unsealing a game live on camera. If we can actually do it. Excuse me, scissors, come to my rescue. There we go. Can't believe that. Got a sealed game when you're buying pre-owned stuff. Oh, feels so new. There we go. Ah, well, that's interesting. It was sealed. Opened it up. No manual. So Man 10 doesn't come with a manual. There we go. Who knew? Who knew? Well, according to your information there that I've just learned, that's got to go in that pile. So we've got NHL, NHL 10. I thought that was a, a mark on the, uh, on the on the paperwork there. It's not. It's a gum shield coming out of his gob. Is that right? Has that been resealed, though? Answers on a postcard. If you've got Madden 10 and you've got a manual, let me know because that looked like it was new and sealed. It feels like it was new and sealed. But then again, we've got NHL 10. And that comes with manual. So it's still going in the joy pile because it's sealed, and I think that's how it came. So we'll leave that in the joy pile. But at the moment, we are 100% joy. So in you go, NHL 10. And then on to... I actually used to own this once upon a time before I was a, a collector. So it kind of left my possession after I owned it because I didn't keep them back then. This... There oh, we go. We've got no manual. And I know this game comes with a manual. And we've got a classic disc... 
in a regular box. It was going so well, they can't all go in the joy pile. So we've got our first Sorrow. Sorry, Fight Night Round 3, but you've got the wrong disc in, and you've got no manual, and I know you should be coming with a manual. There we go. Oh, dear. Damn it. Thought we was going to get a clean sweep then. Okay, so this was an next rental. Rent five pound five nights. Buy two ninety nine. So why would you rent it for five nights for a fiver if you could buy it for two pounds ninety nine? Is that what that means? Bit of sticker cleaning needs to be done, but that's not an issue. As long as the case is not busted up, we will have a manual with Brian Lara Cricket two thousand and several. So yes, you are a joy. So go in the joy pile. Not bad for next rent. So do you know what? I know. I know we said that they refurb all the disc, but as your next rental, let's just double check. Oh, yeah. Yep, fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they do refurb all their discs, so there we go. Next up, we, we've got more basketball. We've got NK, NK, NBA 2K12, which has no manual. I think it is meant to come with a manual. I haven't got any ones later than that in this. Yes, I have. I've got one coming up. We'll do that one next. Right, NBA, I think that's meant to have a manual. And because I need a manual, I'm going to be strict on the rules and put you in sorrow. You can join Fight Night Round 3. Right, let's uh, jump to NBA 2K14. Uh, yeah, you've got a manual. I'm pretty sure. Right, NBA 2K12 must have a manual if 2K14 has a manual. A little bit of extra paperwork there as well. That's always a little bit of a bonus. Include King James bonus packs. So we've got the sticker on the front and we've got the paperwork. I like that. Like that indeed. So NBA 2K14, you are definitely a joy to the right with you. Okay, next up, another old sports title, NHL 2K9. I only got 2K7, so we've got 2K9 now in the collection. Lovely condition manual. There we go. Again, a lovely working case with no cracks or blemishes. You can join the joy pile as well. Non-sports title alert. I think I've got, as he turns around to check, yeah, I've got seven and eight. I'm missing six, but uh, Dynasty Warriors 5 Empires was part of one of the deals. I think it was in the two for five slash four for eight quid one, so it was a four for eight. cost me two quid. Lovely condition manual. Loving that. Loving that indeed. Brilliant. Fantastic. So, yep, need six to, uh, to, to make a nice run. I've got five, seven, and eight. That's going to do my OCD. No good at all. Into the joy pile you go. We're running out of games. Alpha Protocol, the Espionage RPG. Oh, broken case. Okay, broken case. I think I could spy a manual through there, which is going to make it a joy, only because I have X amount of cases to use as replacements. So, yeah, okay, manual's a little bit ropey, though. A little bit ropey. Not brilliant. I think someone's tried to remove it in the past there. Although we get a bit of label remover on that and be careful. We might be able to rescue that as well. The disc, I'm just going to check just because the case is broke. Yeah, absolutely immaculate. Yeah, they do refurb their discs. I keep saying that. Okay, so we've got a broken case. I can sort that, but for the for the benefit of this video, it's going to go in the sorrow, even though it will eventually be a joy. Just because, you know, if I didn't have a spare case then I would need to find a case replacement. It just so happens that I do. But it's got a manual. Manual's a little bit ropey. Going to be harsh on it and just not put it in the joy pile. So you're going to go in the sorrow pile, but you're kind of a, a joy slash sorrow. Okay, we've got the Madden game. Madden NFL 13. This feels really light. Right, no manual. But Madden 10 didn't have a manual. Is this one meant to have a manual? I'm not sure. This is the problem we have. I've got a Madden 11 coming up next. So let's just leave you there and let's have Madden 11 pop into view, which has a manual. So Madden 10 was sealed and had no manual, but Madden 11 wasn't sealed and has a manual. I am confused. I am so confused. Right, I've got a sticker there that needs to come off. Oh, no, that is... Oh, can I get that off? That is on the inlay. That is on the bloody inlay. Oh, really? Oh, it's going to be hard to rescue. Can I do it? That's almost going to put it in the sorrow because that's going to ruin the inlay, which means then I need to get it again. So on harsh rulings, you're going to go in the sorrow. 
you might become a joy, but you're going to go in the sorrow, along with Alpha Protocol. Being strict here now. Madden 30, are you meant to have a manual? Just because I don't know just yet, you're going to go in sorrow as well. So there's five in there now. Oh, dear. Okay. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 06. I have... Has to turn head round again. I have eight and nine and ten missing seven so yes you've got a manual in there so you're going straight in to the joy pile there we go mr woods clearly very happy just giving it the office pump there so yep you're going to go into the joy pile which is nice and high which is good i suppose another sports title uefa euro 2008 Manual, thank you very much. A little bit worried then. I thought for a moment this feels quite light, but we've got a manual in there. Case is a little bit damaged there. It's not damaged the inlay. No, it's not damaged the inlay, but the plastic on the outer there is is a little bit damaged. I mean, that's even putting that in the sorrow just because of that is a bit harsh. But yeah, I've got case replacement. That's um, that's not an issue. That's not awful. I mean, if I didn't have a case replacement, that would still go in the collection until I found one. So you're going in the joy. And then the final game, the final game is Call of Duty. It is Advanced Warfare. And I believe this game doesn't have a manual, but it has the extra little bit of paperwork in it, which is cool. It is a two-disc game. That disc is fine, but I feel like it's been put in a one disc box potentially, or has it? I don't know. They fit there quite comfortably. Although, that one earlier, which had two on the spindle, I may swap it over for this because that is definitely a two spindle box and this isn't. And this is the last game in the box, and that is going in the joy pile as well. But we'll leave it down there. We'll leave it down there for now. Uh, kind of free jiffy bags in the box as well. Look at that to pad it out with. Cheers, music magpie. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an investigation to do on Madden NFL 10 because that was sealed. I opened it and there was no manual, and yet Madden 11 had a manual. I'm pointing at games you can't see. Sorry about that. So all in all, Joy Pile, just pop you over there for a second. We have, well, we've got five in the Sorrow. We've got missing manuals in two, one with a badly broken case, and then two, well, one with a missing manual in Madden 13. Let's bring them down, right. So we've got missing manual, missing manual, broken case, sticker on the inlay. Don't know if I can rescue that. No manual, need to investigate, think it should have a manual. So there we go. We've got five games in the Sorrow Pile. So the Sorrow Pile has five games. So quick math says that 17 are in the Joy Pile. 17 are in the Joy Pile, but we need to do some investigation on Madden F NFL 10. So if you have Madden F NFL 10, anybody and everybody, please put in the comments section below if yours has a manual or not. Because I can't believe I opened a sealed copy of that and it had no manual, and yet a later version of it did have one. So who knows? So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That has been my Music Magpie Roulette, a.k.a. known as Sean from Retro Games Revives. One for Sorrow, two for Joy which I've had a lot of fun with doing. And I I, th I was getting to the point where I thought I was just going to have a pure pile of joy because, yep, they refurbed their discs, so that's not going to be an issue. And they were all coming with manuals. I thought, oh, I'm doing all right here. And then all of a sudden, right towards the end, we had a broken box. We had a couple of missing manuals. That I know I'm meant to have manuals. And we got a few sorrow so doesn't mean you're going to get 100 percent success just because you buy from music magpie over cex so it's been interesting and it'll be very interesting to watch sean's series going forward so please check out his episode and then obviously stay subbed to his channel to for future episodes if you enjoy his first episode because honestly i did i thought it was brilliant he goes into a lot more detail than i do gives him a good good scrutinizing so yeah Loving the video, Sean. Keep them up, buddy. And with that, it's time for me to say thank you very much for watching. And as always, please do take care.